The Environmental Protection Agency announced a new rule to limit harmful chemicals in our drinking water. Now they're known as PFAS or Forever Chemicals. Michaelia White joining us live in studio tonight. Yeah, and Michaelia, we've been, of course been covering the concerns over this issue for quite some time now. Yes, this is the first ever drinking water standard that's being enforced nationally. And the EPA says it'll reduce PFAS exposure for about 100 million Americans. It could prevent thousands of deaths and reduce tens of thousands of serious illnesses. The Environmental Protection Agency announced a new national drinking water standard to protect Americans from toxic chemical pollution. These chemicals entering our environment in an uncontrolled manner are harmful to our families, harmful to our communities, and harmful to our economy. That new EPA rule means water standards must monitor, reduce, and report high levels of the six most common and toxic chemicals known as forever chemicals. PFAS are called forever chemicals because no one has been able to measure their half-life in the environment. They don't occur naturally, and so nature has not come up with a way of breaking them down. Exposure to high levels of these chemicals has been linked to cancers, liver and heart issues, and developmental issues for infants and children. You can't smell these chemicals, you can't taste them, you can't see them um, at levels that are dangerous to your health. So that's why these New rules are so important. There are about 15,000 different types of these human-made chemicals. They're used in everyday products like food packaging, nonstick cookware, cosmetics, and other personal care products. The EPA estimates 6 to 10 percent of the 66,000 public drinking water systems in the country will likely need to make changes to meet these new standards. And the EPA will also give about $1 billion in funding to help states and territories meet these new standards. And your investigator, Katie Weiss, has also done extensive reporting on PFAS here in Colorado. She's been following this story for the last five years, and you can check out her reporting on our website, cbscolorado.com. That's such an important issue that affects Huge. so many people. Michaelia, thank you. Mm -hmm. We are dedicated to trying.